Prepare yourself to see China's newest advanced high-speed railways. Hi, good day to everyone. Arthur is back with something amazing to show you. So if you are new in this channel, click the subscribe button and get notified to keep you updated with what's new in here. China continues to advance, innovate and develop at an alarming rate. Because of this, China is already gaining popularity in many countries around the world. But what you will see in this video is just some of the advancement happening in the country. So get ready to see China's newest advanced high-speed railways. And so without further ado, let me take you to my number one. Number one is new high-speed railway line fully opens to traffic in Jiangsu. A new high-speed railway fully opens to traffic in Jiangsu, China which may benefit as many as 20 million residents in the region. The Liangyonggang Zhenjiang High Speed Railway is 305 km long, with a design speed of 250 kph. A section of the railway linking Huayan and Zhenjiang went into operation. The other section connecting Liangyonggang and Huayan was opened to traffic in 2019. In fact, for your information, traveling for people living along the route will also be much easier, as officials say. The total length of railway network in Jiangsu is expected to reach 5,500 kilometers during 14th five-year plan period. Number 2. The Completion of Mega Bridge on China's Railway The main construction of the mega bridge finished as the two sides of the bridge were connected on the Lijiang Shangri-La Railway in southwest China's Yunnan province. The bridge is 250 meters above a river, which made the lifting of steel truss girders difficult as every truss girder weighs 640 tons. Upon completion, the 139km long railway will shorten the travel time between the two tourist cities to 4 hours. Number 3 is Chinese Railway Projects Adopts Smart Technology. The Yinchuan Xi'an High Speed Railway in northwest China has been undergoing a trial operation. Its communications, signaling, power, and electrification projects have also been put into use. Engineers have adopted the building information modeling technology to ensure its smooth operation. According to Chief Engineer, through the application of BIM technology, the layout of the equipment is optimized, cross-interference is avoided, efficiency is improved, the cost is reduced, process is improved, management level is optimized, and the construction of quality projects is achieved. Number 4 is Construction of New High-Speed Railway in Central China Construction of a new high-speed railway is in full swing in Hunan, Central China, as it is scheduled to open to traffic later this year. The line has total length of 246 kilometers, 
with a design maximum speed of 350 kph. It is expected to cut travel time between Huaihua and Jiang Jiajie from 3.5 hours to 1 hour. Zhang Jiajie is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its forest parks. Number 5 is Yinchuan Xi'an High Speed Railway enters service. A new high speed railway linking Yinchuan, capital of Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region, with Xi'an, capital of Shaanxi Province, both in western China, began operations. The maximum speed of the train is 250 kph, but conditions are in place to increase it to 350 kph. The travel time between the two cities has been shortened from 14 hours to about 3 hours. It will boost regional economic development and help revive all revolutionary base areas. Number 6 is North China Railway Line to boost economic development. After 5 years under construction, the Afujun Railway is finally ready to be put into use. Construction on the 420 km long railway began in 2015, and the final track was laid on the last section, linking Fuyun and Alte. The railway will provide passenger and freight services and is scheduled to become operational. It's expected to improve transportation efficiency and promote regional economic development in northern Xinjiang. Number 7 is Beijing Xiong'an Intercity Railway starts full line operation. The last stretch of the Beijing Xiong'an Intercity Railway was opened, marking the full line operation of the Intercity Railway, a key project for the coordinated development of Beijing Tianjin Hebei region, a state new level area of strategic importance. The newly opened section from the Dashing Airport to Xiong'an, a stretch of 59 kilometers, has four stops and will cut the journey time between the two points to 19 minutes. The complete line is 91 kilometers long and will take passengers from Beijing West Railway Station to Xiong'an Railway Station in about 15 minutes. And that's pretty much it for today. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.